guys, welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. Welcome back to the channel. We're happy you're here. My name is Laura. I'm Janine. And together we are Shiny Bright Doggo. We love to go out thrifting to estate sales, treasure hunting for the next vintage score. Holiday, mid-century, kitsch, we're all about it. We've acquired quite a lot of the few, last few months and we are doing a live sale. So I want to let you guys know that before we head into the thrifting portion of this video. What we are selling is behind us over here. Um, and if you guys are interested in more details, our live sale is this Friday and Saturday, just because we have so much. If you want more details, make sure to check us out on Instagram at Shiny Bright Doggo and the live sale will be over there on Instagram. I think that's all the bookkeeping. Let's go to the thrift store. We just saw this little moving sale, just bought a bunch of signs. So we're going to go in and just take a look. No idea. I don't think it's an estate sale. I think this is just a family that posted these signs. So we're going to go in and take a look. Look at all this vintage plush. Smokey the Bear. Fun stones. I actually have been on the lookout for these guys. Right there. Yeah. Oh. They're like fake Furbies. Plush Furbies. Plush Furbies. Pikachu's cute. That's a cute. Cute to chew. That is a cute to chew. <laughs> Look how cute that oh, cookie monster cookie is. Cookie monster. Oh, this one. This one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Do you know him? Simpsons. Stones. These are cool. Made in China, 1990. How fun! Yeah, I want to go. Oh, I want. Is this name Dino? Yeah, Dino. <gasps> Cute. Big troll. Big troll. Little Kermy. <laughs> I, I might see how much for Pikachu too. It's just so cute. He's a really cute. Cute? He's a really cute. He's a really cute. <laughs> He's a really cute. <laughs> this one's actually in Japan. Yeah. Just in there? Yeah, just in there. What are these things? They are, um, what's a fruit and vegetable company? Driscoll? Am I making that up? Oh, yeah, we saw one of those one time. Yeah, and I almost got them, but I don't know, I just didn't get them, and now there's a whole set for me. So, um, she wanted $15. Yeah. And we got, what, like a few plus, Smokey the Bear, um, all those little fruit guys, um, whatever a book. Was, a book i was thinking like five then she said 15 i was like uh and yeah you, it's hard you it's, haggled you're like how about 10 yeah um, it's it's hard to say like the value i think it was also family run so mm. you always have like emotion behind right. things um so it's always hard to see to see like you know in places where it's not priced out it's very hard to to judge when you're you know you're like oh that's cute i want this i want this i want this it's hard to know what people are gonna want. The expectations. For. The yeah. expectation. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. It, yeah, and you know, I think you're right. It's you know the family, and they might have some attachments. Like, I was gonna maybe grab all those Flintstones that you guys saw. Um, who knows what she would have priced it out then? Um, I did take a look for them on eBay, and there weren't a lot of sold comps. I think there was one where there was like a few of them that sold for like fifteen dollars, but then there was just like. A single pebbles that sold for like 20 so i just felt like they're big they take up a lot of space um so i left those behind sort of thankfully because yeah she was a little pricey but it was still fun to see yeah it was a lot of fun and um yeah i think we did a good job yeah it was still a lot of fun to see and you know just follow the signs and see where it led us but we're gonna head over to our favorite thrifting spot unique thrift store let's go all right guys you old uh tried and true i don't know what's going on over here they're trying to keep us out, but they can't. <laughs> They'll do everything they can. But Laura and Janine are on their way. Watch out. Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at 
little Halloween section. This guy's sort of cute. Looks like they might have all been together. Made in China. Two dollars isn't bad. Sort of cute. That's so funny. It's different, like you, yeah, but. Did you find my secret keepings, Pop? No. No, I haven't. I'm sorry. Hmm. I only found these things. Oh. Do show. Do show. Those are older. Taiwan, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. Taiwan from the 70s. Actually, it's got an actual oh, people in Japan. Yeah. They probably sat on a um on a seat or something. See how their legs mm -hmm. are? Like a bench. Like bench, yeah. And I saw these, these are... They're from the 1980s, but they're Japan. And they're, okay. they're really cute dogs. Those are cute. This one huh. clip is, I don't know. Cute dogs. And our colors are yellow, yellow, orange, and blue. So these are 25% off. So amazing. Nice. I found this. I don't know if it's anything. I was going to look oh, it up on eBay. Miami Hurricane. Yeah, Miami Hurricanes glass for $2. Probably not worth anything, but... This chalk is very cute. Very, like, 90s. I like the illustration on the front. Hi. Oh. What? Wow, she's old. Yeah. She's cool, right? Where'd you find her? She was on the other side of the store with some other stuff. Um, she has a really old tag on her. Hmm. Does it say where it was made? Yeah, um... California? Hmm. Maybe? She's probably from the 70s. Wow. She's in okay condition. She's cool. Yeah, I'll look her up. She's just cute hanging out in there. And then the only other thing I found was this um, Halloween mug. Yeah. But I think it's new. I ripped that up and it seems like a newer mug. Yeah. Still cute though. Yeah, it's cute. What'd you find? Some briar ponies. Some briar ponies. Some briar ponies. They have a good resale value if you find some good ones. Yeah, they seem like newer ones. They feel pretty light. Mm. Janine found the Halloween shelf. Oh, I wish they weren't broken. That's so cool. I wasn't sure what that is. I think it was probably a candy dish, or maybe it was uh, for a, a light. It's cool. I don't know. It's sort of like the Dracula. Yeah, no, he's cool. And he might have gone with some of these. I mean, maybe he yeah. went with this one, right? This one, yeah. Yeah. That's sort of cute. My mid-century desk. Look at those legs. Janine found a little bag of baby mama hippo and baby hippo. Oh no. Oh no, no. Take that away. Take it away before I get attacked. Oh, her hand is out. Oh, oh. No. Twenty-five yellow, twenty-five percent off. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> I don't know if Janine saw this, but this is sort of fun and cool. This Fisher Price. Did you film this? No. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Fisher Price Ferris wheel? It like weighs like eight pounds. <laughs> Kid picking this up. I remember playing with this. Um, my cousins had one. My older cousins. Oh, is it from the 80s? No. Huh. Made in USA. This is probably from like the 70s. 66. Wow. How cute. Also, um, did you see these? No. A whole bag of Lilith's Pet Shops for $2.99? I haven't seen them for this cheap in a while. Wow. Yeah, um, I might pick it up. I don't know. Yeah, all right, think about it. Found a little Left and Piggy. It does say Left in there. 1986. Piggy? Oh, she's It does cute. have a name on it, but you could take that off pretty easily. Oh, for my piggy bank? Yeah, it doesn't have a stopper crack, though. though. Where? Oh yeah, there's a hairline crack. Huh. Oh yeah, I didn't even say. How cute is she though? She's adorable. With a little bow? Yeah, she's a great size. Aw, no? Can I see her a little closer? She doesn't have a stopper either. That's okay. I thought 1986. You wanted to... Did you actually want to put money in there? Yeah, that's why I'm worried about the crack. Mm. Oh, she's sort of cute her. though. You gotta pass. Yeah, What's she's in? really cute. She is cute. 
But I noticed you have something in your hands. I got a Furby. It's one of the newer ones, right? Yeah, I think this is probably from like 2011, 2012. Yeah, I got one of those when they first came out. I don't know if it's Cute. worth it or not, but I just found it, so. Looking for the secret keepings. Yeah, where's the secret keepings? <laughs> Find the secret keepings for me, please. Keep digging, it might be in there. That's not secret keepings. Keep digging, Janine. I believe in you. Um, interesting. Yeah. So we found these, um, jack-o'-lantern version. Mm -hmm. Same company, Dietz. Yep. Um, sells for like $30 to $40. Maybe, maybe $30. Um, never seen the snowman version. I know. I'm not sure about it. These are the only, like... You know, it's a little out there. Snowman lantern versus jack-o'-lantern <laughs> lantern. You know, it's a little different. And so also, maybe... like, the, the Santa one's cooler. Yeah, but, a little harder um, to sell maybe, but that's really cool. It is really cool. The issue with it though, have some paint, right? There's no bottom. Oh. Uh, uh, Instead of paint loss, yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's also like, gets dirty, the white. Yeah, I might go to the back and see if by like the, the hardwares and stuff, like hardware se section, like has If there's ones. more? Yeah. I found this 2000s, like the year 2000. Oh, remember? Wanted like old 90s and stuff Valentine's? Yeah, this is Powerpuff Girls, and I didn't look inside yet, but it's I might like get these. Them are in there, yeah. More expensive than they were originally. <laughs> so I grabbed a couple of those plush that you saw in the estate sale, but I think Laura's gonna have a, a little go at talking about those. So I'll show you what I got at the thrift store, which was um, nothing really for me to keep. They're both up on my eBay as we speak. So I found two. Briar Ponies, which, um, Briar Ponies have a good resale value, so these are up on eBay. I like to sell them because, uh, I don't know, they're easy, easy to identify, and, um, they seem to be pretty good sellers. Laura, you found a big bag of Littlest Pet Shop figures from the early 2000s, which actually go for a pretty decent amount of money on eBay. Um, you didn't want to sell them, but... I decided to jump on the bag. There's a lot of them. Um, there was probably, I think there's like 21. That's a good amount. This is a good amount. Uh, the orange tabby cats and cats in general are kind of the more desirable and like dogs are more desirable to sell and people will, will they'll, they'll pay a pretty penny for them. So I decided to put these up on eBay as a lot um, on auction. And I think right now the current bid is $20 or $21. Wow. And it's got about a week left. So maybe I would say by the night, by Friday, but no, uh, probably next Tuesday's video, I'll give you an update on what they sold for. And if you guys are interested, our eBay links are in our description below. In the first half of this video, you guys saw us at that estate sale slash yard sale. It was family run. So the woman who gave us the price, she owned the home and the contents. There was no outside estate sale company coming in. So we really didn't know what to expect. Those are sort of rare in our area. Yeah. Um, but that pile of plush was really cool. We only picked up a few pieces. Happy we did because of that price. We paid $10 for what we picked up, which in hindsight is actually a pretty good deal. Yeah, it was a pretty good deal. And um, something when going into a family run estate sale or moving sale, you never know what emotions are tied up behind the items that you are purchasing. True. So, you know, it's always a tricky thing. Yep. Some people, we go to yard sales, they sell things for 50 cents. Others, it's like $10. So I agree, Janine. But I think in hindsight, we got a pretty good deal. The first mm -hmm. thing I saw, I was so excited, are these Del Monte yumkins let me pull them out so these are del monte christmas yumkins from 1991 adorable i've been on the lookout for these actually they don't have a huge resale value but they are these little vegetable and fruit stuffed animals with googly eyes holding christmas items so you guys saw the banana and the green bean this is i believe a little pear with How angel wings cute is that maybe my favorite a little pineapple with a santa hat classic apple and a fuzzy little peach <laughs> with reindeer antlers. That one might be my favorite. I think I have the whole set here. I think this is the full set. It sells on eBay for like $10 plus shipping. So it's not like it's like 
hugely valuable, but who knows? I mean, the way Christmas is, in 10 years, these could be like, you know, $30 or something. Um, but these are gonna stay in the collection. The three other plush uh, we picked up, Janine picked up this really cool Smokey the Bear. He's so cute. He's in great condition. He's made in Korea, so he's probably from the 80s. Yeah, I think there is a year on him. I think it's like 86. 1985 on the back. And look, it says Smokey Bear Junior Forest Ranger Kit. How cool. Oh man, I want the Forest Ranger Kit. You got Smokey. Um, this guy you thought was Chuck E. Cheese maybe, right Janine? Yeah, I was kind of hoping, but, um, and when I, I did use Google, but it has no Chuck E. Cheese mark. It actually has some other mark. And I think um, I pulled up another listing for that same character and it's not Chuck. Not Chuck, but he's still cute. He is. Um, and then I picked up Pikachu just because I could tell this was like a vintage Pikachu from the 90s. So cute. Um, he does have a tag. I he just says made in China. Yeah. But I thought he was really cute and like fat Pikachu. Mm -hmm. So um, we got these plush. I had to pick up the tiniest, cutest little cookie monster I've ever seen. He's so small. <laughs> in the bag of Christmas Yumpkins was this made in Japan Santa tin toy, which I was really surprised to find in there. He's in decent condition. This is probably from like the early 70s and it's just so cool to find in that bag. Um, we actually have like one or two of these from like the 40s or the 50s so I'll probably pass this one along but it was really fun to find. So the only thing I picked up from the thrift store was this actually vintage and I know you guys are like 2000 that was only 22 years ago that's not vintage but technically um anything over 20 years is considered vintage so we are also vintage ourselves <laughs> um what i'm not tw over 20 years old <laughs> and honestly it's a term of endearment to be vintage is to be cool so i picked up these valentines i was really excited to find them because these are like i probably had these as a kid um they are these foil valentines and everything was in the box wow um, those are fun. And what's really fun was on the packaging, it said there were like two deluxe cards and I looked for them and they were actually in there. They're really big. Wow, it's like the, someone never used them. I don't think so. So I might keep a few, I might throw the rest up on eBay. I don't have that many friends, so I don't think I can give out all these for Valentine's <laughs> Day. Um, but they were really fun and nostalgic to find. Thanks for joining us, guys. We hope you enjoyed this thrift trip here at Shiny Bright Doggo. Don't forget about our live sale this upcoming Friday, March 4th, I believe. If you are interested, make sure to check out our Instagram, also Shiny Bright Doggo. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.